Cardi wrote, Atlantic signed female rappers Bree Stevens, Rico Nasty, and Malibu Mitch, all prior to signing Cardi B. But we're supposed to believe Lady, Le uh, Lady Lachia, the rapper from the UK who doesn't even curse in her songs, was sought after to take someone out and diss. They do anything for clout. Laughing emoji. You're stupid, Ken Barbie, for that. Okay, because Lady Lachia is massive over here. Massive enough for Cardi B to cover her song, bitch. And we'll get to my opinion of that when we get to those receipts for that. She's massive enough uh, to cover her song. Okay, so Lady Lachia would be sought after. Lady Lachia has taken pictures with Nicki Minaj before when Nicki Minaj has performed in the UK. She's taken pictures and had a lot of, you know, female rappers who are beneath Lady Lachia, actually, in the grand scheme of things. She has brought them on tour, on her tour. So Lady Lachia is effing massive. Effing massive over here. Lady, Lady Lachia is pretty much uh, the one of the biggest female rappers over here. Okay. Before her, you would say something like Miss Dynamite, but Miss Dynamite doesn't put out music anymore. Miss Dynamite doesn't put out music anymore. Okay. The big the big hitters over here are people like Lady Lachia, Steph London, uh, what's her name? Uh, Sutton Banks. Uh, what is her name? Sutton Banks. I can't remember. Uh, Ivorian Doll. Um... Who else, am I, who else am I missing? And, and, and a few others, but that's really like the main women over here. So Lady Lachia is certainly in that list. She's also, you know, a major in terms of uh, black television over here. She's got, and she's done a lot of, you know, major black television shows over here. Okay, she's also received an, uh, a British Empire medal, a British Empire medal from the Queen, okay? Okay, give me one fucking second. What are you people fucking talking about, bro? Do your research. Yeah, she was honored. She was honored by the queen, okay, in her birthday honors, all right? So she is certainly, you know, right up there. She would be sought after. I'm just reading this again. I mean, yeah, I mean, she, there was no reason why Lady Lachia wouldn't be sought after. Look, these lot confuse me. But anyway, they do too much talking online. Okay, too much dick sucking and talking online, in, in my opinion. Okay, I mean... Let's scroll down to see what we need. Whew. So here's the picture of her wearing a T-shirt saying dollar and credit. She also said, uh, she also retweeted someone saying, don't take the piss out of kind people. Now, my whole thoughts about that whole situation is, you know, Cardi addressed it saying, look, it was, it was a remix. It was a remix. And a lot of people in, in hip hop be doing those remixes. But how many times have artists come out and been, um, and been uh, so offended, you know, by people just doing remixes of their songs? I remember Keisha Cole was offended when, What's his name? That 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 big that, that football headed man, darling. Uh, you know, who has a baby with uh the one of the black twin sisters that follow the Kardashians around, you know, them lot, all right. Uh OT Genesis. I remember when Keisha Cole came out and was, um, was so uh, offended that OT Genesis had remixed her song without her permission. You know, so shit like that happens. Also, uh, what's his name? That R and B singer. Um shit uh him who sang the national anthem that went viral land of the free him he has a nice voice he also did a sound he also did a remix to someone else's song and they were saying that all he does is remix their songs i can't remember exactly who said that to him because he remixed their song uh but that artist was saying that they were pissed off with him for remixing their song. So artists be getting pissed off all the time when people just be remixing their song. Because to me, from what I can understand, is when people people just remix your song or do a YouTube mix to your song, they don't get any credit and they don't get paid for it. So I don't effing like that. Can you imagine someone who, who, who takes this whole concept for this show, takes my exact words, does a remix to it? Okay. But I think that, you know, with social media and, well, no, hang on, screw, screw. So 
Can you imagine, right? If someone takes this whole show, the concept of this whole show, and remixes it without my permission, basically lifts off the the ninety five percent of the whole thing, remixes it and put it puts it on YouTube and gets paid off that, gets so much money off that, and I don't get a dime. You would be pissed off too. Okay, so I don't like that whole uh, tradition of remixing people's shit and not giving them any credit or money. I don't like that either. Cardi said it was on Wish exclusive, and she didn't get she didn't get paid for it and whatever whatever. It was on Wish, but darling, you, you didn't get paid off it, really. You don't get paid off it, really. How can you not get paid off it? Like, what the hell did you sign, darling, that you don't get paid off something like that whatsoever? Uh, I don't know. I think we need to see the fucking... I think we need to see the actual receipts of that again. Okay, again, going back to my point of just because someone says that they, they don't have this and they don't have that, and they didn't do this and they didn't do that and they didn't get this and they didn't get that doesn't mean i have to believe you okay like people be getting paid off youtube views you know how much those videos be making on youtube even if you have like a million views do you know how much you get on youtube you be getting bag of money even though you split that with your manager and this person and that person you're still getting a good chunky piece of change off it so you know, when she said she only made like $2, that sounds like a joke to me. That sounds like she was trying to be funny to me. You know. Sounds like, allegedly, you made probably about 100K. Allegedly. Okay, it sounds like you made about actually 100K. Allegedly. And to you, 100K at your level is like Now, I am trying to find, I'm trying to find what Lady LeSure, why is my shit froze, darling? Yes, yeah, so we're woken up. Uh, I'm trying to find what Lady LeSure said about that, what was said about, you know, her being asked and paid off to, to claim she was dissing Nicki Minaj. She was asked to diss Nicki Minaj or whatever. Girl, you got all the receipts from there back and forth, but bitch, we're running out of time. I do need to move on. Okay, so I can't see what she said in relation to the Kate, Kate Miller story, but but essentially she refuted it. And funny enough, all this shit started about uh, the cheap ass weave uh, remake of Lady Lisha's Queen's Speech because the song was seven years old. Okay, so it turned seven on August the 2nd. So that reminded Lady LeSure to ask for her money, darling. And, and likely so. Likely, I think so. I mean, would I have done it? I mean, like I said, you know, the whole thing is irritating like that. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, someone who's in the, someone who's in the industry like Lady LeSure, should she have said anything? Because she's in the culture of people doing remixes. But Pete, like I said, artists be complaining about that too when people just do a remix of their song and they don't get no credit or no pay. You know, so I'm just trying to put myself in Lady Le Church too. Of course, of, co of course I would have effing mentioned it. Of course I would have effing me mentioned it. She didn't do anything wrong uh, for mentioning it. Okay, okay. Girl. She didn't do anything wrong for mentioning it. Just because things are a staple doesn't mean it's, it's right. Y'all be doing too much bootleg because y'all can't get hot on your own. That's how a lot of people become hot, by bootlegging other people's stuff. Girl, run with my fucking coins, bitch. She was right. She was right to call it out. She was right, in my opinion. Okay, so let me do a final check to see if I can see, actually, I've got it on my phone. What the fuck am I doing? Uh, I, I just want to get to what Lady LeSure had said, refuting this fake assistant uh, claim. Okay, give me one second. Right. Um...
Let me look through my shit. Okay, I've got it here. Let's see, Chia. No, is this? Okay, yeah. So one of Cardi B's fan pages said, first she said she was offered 250K, and now she's saying it was a million dollars. Shorty lies so much that she can't even keep up with her own lies. And they've got a screenshot here of what Lady Le Cher had said, which I think, which I stupidly did not screenshot. Um, but I can check. But from what I can see, Lady Le Cher had said and had captioned what Katie Miller had said about, you know, uh, Nikki Payne, both Cupcake and Lady Le Cher to lie and say Atlantic Records approached them to, uh, you know, to diss, uh, and, you know, to diss Nikki. Uh, Lady Le Cher had responded to this from what I can see. I've been offered a mill deal before and turned it down because it didn't align with my integrity. Argue with your toenail. And then they've got a Google search of Lady Le Cher doing an interview which says, Lady Le Cher turned down massive deal after a label wanted her to diss Nicki Minaj. So look, do you see why I ain't fucking, you know. You know, you see why I say that we're not done yet, darling. We're not effing done. These are amateurs. Hit up those likes. Give me my effing subscriptions, darling. We're the best in the game, darling. Okay, so of course I've, I screenshotted what the what uh, Lady Lachure had said in full. In relation to this Kate Miller, what Kate Miller has said. Okay. So we will have a full story on the Gossip Diaries on pharaohdiaries.com available for paid subscribers on the £9.99 tier or the £100 a year tier. So we'll be adding to that because we were supposed to be adding, you know, to it from last show. But I've been, I just, something just said to me, just, just wait, just wait, just wait. So this will go on uh, tomorrow morning. Okay. These extras and the whole story. And everything, okay, will go on a more, a more of a deep dive, an even deeper dive than what we're doing now, darling. And, you know, we will keep adding to it because I don't think this shit is, is done with, okay. Let me eat some of my jollof rice chair. False, the full tweet from... Lady Lachure says, in relation to this Kate Miller story that involved her, <clears throat> she said, this is fake love. Why would I have to lie? I've been offered a mill deal before and turned it down because it, it didn't align with my integrity. Argue with your toenail. Then we've got the screenshot of the Google search, which I, which I told you about, which accompanied that Cully fan page tweet. Exposing Lady Lachure, right? So we've got a full list of Google results here. One said Lady Lachure interview turned down 250k to diss Nicki Minaj and more. You see, you see why I say that we're not done. That I, I, you see why I say that we're not done. We've got another Google search. Lady Lachure turned down massive deal after a label wanted her to diss Nicki Minaj. Another one, Lady Lachure says she was offered 250k to uh, to diss Nicki Minaj, to to record diss track about Nicki Minaj, and the first interview was posted in 2017. Okay, uh, that and that's when you know Bodak Yellow went massive. By heard as well around that time, before Bodak Yellow was released, that Nicki had you know come to uh, Cardi B's uh, video shoots and and things before. And, you know, was like passing by, checking her out and shit like that. Okay. So who knows how long this shit has been going on behind the scenes, darling. Okay. For more than six years, darling. Who knows? Allegedly, darling. Um, another headline says, oh, sorry, the, the next headline, that was dated February 25th, 2021. And the next one dated in 2021. So, but the first one is dated in 2017. So that's when she initially said about she was told to diss Nicki Minaj, so. But let's not um, forget that 
you know, there's uh, a possibility, a, a possibility allegedly, because we don't know, okay, um, that um, based on what Kate Miller said, which we allegedly don't know whether it's true or false yet, we don't, we don't know. We do not have the operation of other, of other people's mind. We don't know. This is not a court, so we don't know, okay. Um, don't forget that allegedly there's also a possibility that allegedly Nicki Minaj, according to Kate Miller, what Kate Miller said, Nicki Minaj uh, may have allegedly reached out to Lady Lachure and asked her to say that Atlantic asked her to diss Nicki Minaj around the time that Cardi B came out and they were beefing, so that could have been in 2018. So even though uh, she was asked by the record label to do it in 2017, which Lady Lachure had admitted to on an interview, okay, after that, Nikki could have approached her after that and tried to tie it in and make it look as if it was to do with Cardi, uh, allegedly, okay, because we don't know. I don't walk in Nicki Minaj's shoes, so I don't know, okay? Everything is possible, okay, okay. Right, guys. Okay, so I told you it was gonna be gonna be an interesting show today, didn't I? Now let's see. We're getting to Cardi B's response to Lady Lucia on Centerfold, which she did say that people could record it. So there was a lot of clips on YouTube. So we'll go over to YouTube next to listen to what was said. And I think today we'll just cover the stories in the headline, and then we'll do quick fire stories real quick, and then we'll get the hell out of here. All right, we don't want to be here all night. We're coming to the two hour mark. So also on that centerfold live, which we're going to listen to a snippet of in a second, uh, Cardi B, uh, according to this fan page, thanks Body Gang for holding her down and to keep defending her until she comes back. Okay, okay. Okay, now let's get into what Cardi had said on centerfold about the Lady Lachure situation. And I thought she was quite arrogant. I did think she was quite arrogant in what she said. He's just loading. Give us a sec. We're doing a lot. We're doing a lot. No, hang on. Let's go here. Let me see how I'm looking. I can see us. If you are, your lawyer reached out to my lawyer and she said, oh, well, my team has reached out. I thought yesterday you said that you reached out to me. Now you're lying and saying that your team reached out to me, which that's a lie. And second of all, if your team, like you claim, has reached out to me, then they're going to tell you that it's like, girl, this is a waste of time because it's not under her record label. It's on two platforms. And on those two platforms, it's not even under, the song is not even under my shit. It's under World Star Hip Hop. So World Star Hip Hop is collecting it. Whatever the fuck there is to me with that 7.3 million fucking views. And on Spotify, it's not even under my shit. <laughs> so I know that if you have hit did this woman just dismiss 7.3 million views? You can tell that she has no rights to her shit. She doesn't know, she doesn't have a clue what she fucking gets. <laughs> just like she said. Just like she said. She said she has no clue what's in her bank account. Like, how the hell do you dismiss 7.3 million views? These hoes don't have a clue what they get in. They have no control of their money. Have they even Googled what the fuck the rates are for YouTube? How the hell could could you sue um, Tasha K for three million? Can't you do the calculations that way? Do you know the bag of money that song is making for those for that channel? Oh. I know there's a lot of people to pay, but but it is a channel on YouTube. So I don't know, darling, how many people they have to pay. But you, she just dismissed 7.3 million views, whatever the, whatever the fuck that's making. Look, I think she's trying to clown the woman, or she, or she's or she's a clown herself, or she's apologies if you couldn't hear me very well, or she's a clown herself. Because how the hell did you just dismiss 7.3 million views? Let's keep listening your lawyers they want to tell you like a girl relax so now i caught you in another lie and then i call her in another lie that you guys pointed out um everybody's going crazy because i wrote laugh out loud 
and they try to make it something about that is not, what it's not about. I wrote laugh out loud because it's like, damn, you just lie about everything. You lying about how you how, how you have your people reached out for me for for credits, and now you now you're getting caught in a lie that you made years ago. So I wrote laugh out loud. Damn, this bitch cannot keep up with her lies. And you know what? Why, like, damn, you can't keep up with, with the lies that you're trying to make up now. And you can't even keep up with the lies that you made up like five years ago. There are people, there are people trying to claim that, that, that I, there are people trying to like enroll me in. Because you're claiming that a label that I'm signed under try to sign you for some shit. And not, and you don't even know how to, you don't even know, you don't even, you, don't, you can't even keep up with your own shit on how much niggas try to pay you, which I always believe that's bullshit. Nobody ever offered me shit. Before I was signed to Atlantic, Atlantic had Malibu Mitch, still got Malibu Mitch, and still got Rico Nasty signed under their label. They never tried to diss nobody. But you came with this cap with no receipts and no name. And now, you, now you're addressing it, and you, and, and you can't even keep up with the numbers. That's why I wrote Laugh Out Loud, because you've always been lying. And you're, trying to lie, you're trying to lie today about me, and now you can't even keep up with lies that you made years ago. Like, this bitch is just a liar. And that's why I wrote Laugh Out Loud. Because the girl is a bad liar. The fuck? If I want to laugh out loud, bitch, I can laugh all day. You, 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 you lying. You lying. This have nothing to do with nobody else. This is what's that. Bitch, she's a liar. And that's why I'm laughing. Laugh out loud. Damn, bitch, you cannot keep up with your lies. Can't keep up with the lies you're trying to make up today. First, yesterday, it was, oh, I try to reach out to you on Instagram. Now it's my team try to reach out. And then you said that I put the song uh, to sale. That song was never... Well, I don't think based on what Lady the Shirt was saying, Cardi B, you can sit here and call her a liar. If she said I tried to reach out to you, like, if it's my team that says, if it was her team that did it, I mean, she asked her assistant to do it, perhaps to reach out to you. If you ask your assistant to do it, then you would say, I try to reach out to you. That's like not really something to base and call someone a liar um you know and then um what else did lady lachia said um she also said that she dm'd cardi b and cardi b said as a celebrity you don't be seeing your dms and shit um i'm guessing because you request to turn that off the notification off um because you do see your dms okay if even if it goes to the back the back way where you need to to accept them for them to see that you've seen it Okay, so you still you still you do still get notifications for that. So if she's saying as a celebrity you don't see your DMs, that's that's because she's requested for Instagram to to do something behind the scenes, or she's done something behind the scenes. I don't know how you do that to switch that notification off, or do you just turn off your notifications from Instagram off on your phone? So she just be right hey, you're a liar, you're a liar, you lied again. <laughs> Didn't um what's his what's her face? Uh, London, on the, uh, London on the track. Sorry if you can't hear me. Didn't London on the, on the tracks, uh, baby mother, uh, call say that she has a fish mouth or something? That's what it's giving when she be doing all these rants. Like you just be running your mouth, and it's just like what? That song was never on Amazon. That song was never on Apple. It's only on two services, and they're not even under my name. So you. So she said that if she said that it was on streaming platforms, all she said was that it was on streaming platforms. So two services, two services is is uh is uh streaming platforms, darling. Plural. Man, what the fuck? What the fuck? I'm even confused. Like, girl. Let's finish listening. Two more minutes, and then we won't listen to the other one. Because in the other one, she said that she didn't even want to do the song. It's not her style and things like that. I don't, you know, we haven't got all day. This is the juicy one. Uh let's keep listening. You're lying. Trying to lie and say that I'm, I'm profiting off this fucking weak ass song. The fuck? And now you can act. How the fuck you call her a liar for saying that you're trying to profit off this off this weak ass song? She doesn't know what your financials your your financials are. And you said you don't know what your financials are. Clear because you said that you try to play down a, a, a video that has 7.5 million views. This is the people y'all be putting on the pedal store. 
Let's keep listening. I'm not going to put plantain on, put plantain on my shit, yeah. I didn't keep up with lies that you made years ago, neither. Mm. About another situation that has never had nothing to do with me, and people try to make it seem like it has something to do with me. That's why I'm fucking laughing, bitch. Ha, ha, ha. The fuck? Get off my dick. You dumb? Rude and disrespectful. I'm going to get paid because it shows that I'm bringing people yeah. over here. And that's what it's about, bringing people to this platform to be to make it bigger. So y'all here, and guess what? Every month when we see how is this platform is going and it's going to get better even now because we're going to turn into an app, y'all just making me richer. So thank you for coming here. Y'all can leave all y'all fucking little uh, emojis and shit. Uh, thank you. I get paid for this shit. This is my platform. This is not Instagram. This is my shit. I'm gonna get rich off this shit. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna pay my kids college tuition with this shit. Thank you. I'm gonna buy cars with this shit. I'm gonna buy homes with this shit. So thank you. Leave all the emojis that y'all want. Leave all this, 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 and that. I don't give a fuck. Y'all make me richer when y'all do that. And anyways, that's that. Oh, and another thing that I'm seeing. So um another thing that I'm seeing. Okay, so that that is um. Uh... The end of that. Let, might as well get on yourself, child. Bear labamout, as they say in Jamaica, labamout. Come on, load up. I ain't got all day. A remix because I remixed this song, and you want to know something? I am so mad that I remixed this song. I'm so mad because I never wanted to do it. Like I swear to God, like I'm not. I'm not even saying this because. I'm not even saying this because um I'm not even saying this because like you know I'm not trying to insult the person or anything because I heard I you know um uh, at the time if you guys hear my mixtape and if you guys hear that song that's not my style of music. That was that's not my style of music. That lady Lisher song, uh Clean Your Teeth is not really my style of music, but at the time um my managers at the time they kept saying that i keep uh remixing a lot of drill songs you know i remix uh doa i'm a big uh i'm a big old nigga and everything and then i did cassie lit that which is like a drill song and then um this is not a drill song but i did young thug uh honey band honey band honey band like it's like that was more of my style and i did ran down on that bitch twice and my manager at the time felt like you know, these songs are too hardcore for you to go real commercial, like for you to go to for you to go commercial. Then this guy that works at, at a label, I think it's Interscope or something. I don't know. He told me that like this song is really hot in the UK and like he think that this fits my personality. So you know what I did? Because I wanted, of course, I wanted to get signed. So I wrote cheap ass weave i remade it right in front of his face and it's like yo this is so funny this is so clever you should shoot a video for it so we shoot a video for it i didn't take it really seriously and i didn't care for it like it's a fucking remix of a song and i didn't care for it and i posted it and everything um and guess what just like i knew back then it never did just like i knew that it wouldn't it never did nothing for my career because I felt like it was corny. Like, it's like, I just felt like it was corny. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like it was just corny. And anyways, it didn't do nothing much for my career thing. Um, But, you know, the song is being brought up eight, nine years later. And this is my thing, right? This is what bothers me about this shit. This is what bothers me and it's annoying about this shit. Like, you know why I wanted to reply so... You know why I... Because I just feel like my response is funny. And just, this is my thing, right? Because as an artist, if you've been an artist for, I caught this girl in so many lies. And y'all could record this, right? Let me tell you something. Y'all can record this, I don't care. You asking me like to give you revenue off the songs and everything. I made zero dollars off this song. You want to know why? Because... It's not even on my platform on YouTube. It's on World Star Hip Hop. It was a remake. It wasn't a song. It's not on none of my mixtapes. It's a remake. People people remix shit all the time. It's not on my platform. It's on World Star Hip Hop platform. And then this girl, 
again, lied again. I caught her in a lie twice today because she said, oh, you sold the song on, on these platforms. First of all, this song was never on iTunes. It was never on Amazon and it was never on Apple. The only platform that is on is on YouTube, which is not under my platform. It's on the World Star Hip Hop. And then on Spotify, it's not under my label. It's not under uh atlantic and it's not under my old label which she is KSR in, so never can move it's on. Under some shit called cheap ass week at cheap ass week whatever the fuck i don't know so that means that a random fan posted the song so i'm not even making revenue off of it now if you're really pressed about you getting revenue off the song you would check on social media where's the song posted on so you will see that it will be on world star now if you're so pressed about getting a check you will see that on spotify it's not even under my label or it's not even under my name so that's my thing like it's like these bitches want to claim they're professional and then she said that she reached out to me on instagram i wouldn't know because as a celebrity she's a celebrity and i'm a celebrity when you don't follow people you won't be able to see people dms like it's like it doesn't pop up you know what i'm saying it just doesn't pop up if i don't follow you your dm is not gonna pop up pop up so she claimed that she reached out to me now she claiming when i told her today i told her oh hold on fuck okay Shit, hold on y'all so that's why that one ended and then it carried on into the the first one we listened to so we listened to it back to front but the first one i played was where it was most interesting so look um overall I said what I said about I don't like this remix trend either, where people be just taking your shit and remixing it, not signing no contracts, not giving you no cut, no revenue or, or no nothing. As an artist myself, as some sort of artist myself, darling, if anyone took my content and did that, I'll be fucking mad and I'll be looking to sue you, darling. Okay, okay. So I don't know why music, these people think that it's okay. Music has like the most like, you know, and it does have stiff, I won't say the most because content creating also has, you know, stiff copyright laws as well. Music has the same stiff copyright laws. So I don't know why this kind of like remixing trend is there. And to me, the, the like people do it all the time. I mean, F and F, F N word free. That was remixed by Erica Banks. That was remixed by all those people. Okay. And just put on YouTube. Okay. Um, so remixing, I, I forgot to mention that actually. Uh, remixing is, 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 you know, happens consistently now. You know, so many people remix F and F. Okay, so many effing people. It, it, they do freestyles to and shit. It, it happens a uh, effing lot. It does happen. It does happen a lot. Okay. Um, that person is, is literally making off uh, revenue off off YouTube. Like those remixes can get millions and millions of views. Are you trying to tell me that the, that the artist? the original creator or the producers don't get a cut of it at all. Like, I just don't fucking understand. Don't forget, don't forget that these artists have only just, just like T.I. said, have only just gotten their head around and only just been recently told that they actually make money off YouTube views. T.I. famously said that he only recently found out, that was about two years ago, he said that he only recently found out that he could make money off YouTube views. Like, that he was only recently told so these artists have only just recently in the last few years found out that they can actually make money off youtube views i don't think they've quite gotten their head around it deeply they haven't sat down and thought to themselves and these artists whose music they're remixing okay and obviously lady lachure has sat down and thought about it and said hang on a minute that song has how many fucking millions of youtube views this woman is is the cardi b and i make got a cent from that fucking remix that she did that's a little weird and and you know um that is a little bit weird if you think about it because these people are making money off youtube and and the music and a lot of musicians whose songs begin remix have not have not figured this out yet that needs to change they do need to get a cut the producer needs to get a cut off these remixes and let's fly a plane on that people give me one second let's Let's get rid of this tab and, and get our planes up, darling. Too much, too much stealing going on. Too much sl slow behavior going on. Fly that plane, guys. Okay. 
okay. Good, 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 effing good. Good, good, good. Okay. Um, is there anything else that I want to talk about in relation to this story? Can we now move on? Uh, let me see quickly. Okay, dokie. Now, I do have an article here about Cardi B's net worth. Okay, Lady Lasha, are you listening? Um, no, I said I wouldn't open these on 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 the on the laptop because it slows down the stream. Let me just think about it. I'm just thinking also about you know a lot of shit on here because think of these lives as 